Hey guys, come join me as I do some hustling and try to use up this resin before it sets up because things are getting hot, literally. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. So I normally don't do the mixing with you get uh oh I dropped it right in there that 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 was fun. <laughs> it's been a day. Let me tell you. Um, I just got through uh, doing a video with uh, Tish's group from the Artist Haven. We do Art of Palooza every Wednesday night, and I mixed up a bunch of resin, and it's starting to get warm, so I got to hustle. So anyway, I kind of had a backup plan just in case. And I already had these. Yeah, they're getting warm. Uh, poured these in the cups. But I had an idea that I thought might be kind of fun. And we're going to go ahead and go forward with this. And what I'm using here is Just Resin Ink, which is kind of a um, transparent ink or transparent color. I'm going to dye it black, and I'm going to use that as my base. And then I've got other colors in mind to go on top of it. So I've already got some black mixed up here. So I'm hoping between the two, I have enough. And then in these guys, I'm going to do up some of, um, can you see that? This is uh, some of Erica's, um, uh, chameleon colors and this one happens to be red queen i'm gonna have to look up what the other colors are because i picked these up from her when she first started so none of them have labels and i have to go look at the website it's like um it's kind of this color and kind of this color but the two-faced chameleon colors what they do is they shift so like in the light um when the light is going one direction it'll be one color when the light's going another direction it'll be another color so they're a lot of fun to play with and we're going to play with them on top of black and do a pour into one of my trays. And I have an idea. So we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to do something a little interesting here. These are seriously pretty. I mean really really pretty actually what I should do on this black on one of them is put let's see if I've got I do Aha! I have some color passion in black and I'm going to see if it's fresh. Never been opened. Ooh, that's a mess. Okay. Put that down. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of this into the cup. Maybe I might get some cells. Okay, a little bit will come out. Come on, a little bit. I think, okay, that's good enough. And of course, I get it on the side. It's been a day, I can tell you. Maybe we'll get some cells. All right, I'm gonna get another color. Let's see if I can find something that looks definitely different. I will try and see if I can get the colors, the names of these colors, if you're interested. I'm gonna try really hard to, <laughs> I just basically said, I want one of each. I 
And she said, go nuts. Oop, okay, gently, gently. Getting a little rushed and the pigment just kind of reminded me, nope, you need to go slow stir. And you can speed it up at the end. Okay, there's that one. Let's see if we can get something that's a lot different. I have on my table some regulars. Seems like I got a lot of pinks here going. We'll try this one. I don't know which one this is. It's very light in color. So we'll have to see. Actually, let me close that up again. All right, so we got this one, this one. We did not do that. Let me get those out of the way so I can look those up later. All right. I believe I used some of this one before. No heck with it. Stirring very slowly. It's a very light powder. All right. So I normally have been, or lately I've been doing a lot of dirty pours, and this time I'm going to do something a little different. I got a little bit left with some diamond dust in there. I don't know if I'm going to use it. All right, I'm going to stop recording. Okay, so I picked up something. I had an idea, and I saw these used on with uh, doing tumbler cups. Okay, now I got to get the package open. Oh, it's open at the top. There we go. So these are little brushes out of silicone, and I use silicone brushes all the time when I'm painting uh, silicone molds, and they work great. And I thought, it would be kind of cool to paint some resin on the trays, so we're going to try that. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to, let's see, this is the one that has just tint on it. And I'm going to coat the tray with a black so that way the um, chameleons will stand out just really, really well. For some reason, black just really wakes them up. You can do it on white or other dark colors, but like the best, like it's getting stringy. Mm -hmm. The best one is black. I'm not sure if this is enough. All right. Sometimes I wing ideas because you never know. Sometimes you get an idea that happens by accident. And I'm going to do something here that's a little bit different than I would normally do. So instead of working with a solid color, I've got a little bit of clear left. Pour some clear and I might get some wood spots. And I'm okay with that. But I'm going to try and encourage that. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, bear with me for a little bit because I am going to heat that up and tilt that around. It seems to be the best way to coat it. my chameleon 
ones over here so I can lean over without my shirt hitting the resin. I've already got enough shirts. Ugh. Yeah, that's not a whole lot of resin, is it? Crap. Let's see. Clean off my glove a little bit before I touch my nice tray. Whenever you um, add resin, definitely give it a little bit of a heat. Uh, heating up either with a torch or with a heat gun. Alright, it looks like it might be enough there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the video for now and come back when I've got this coated. Okay, so I ended up adding in the um, diamond dust in there because, well, I needed it. <laughs> I didn't know if I had enough. So I've got these three chameleons here that I am literally going to be dipping brushes into it and painting with it. So let's get started. Hopefully this will work. If not, I don't know. May end up getting too busy, I'm not sure, but I'm curious about it. So, it's a good time to experiment. And yeah, I'm gonna get some resin probably on the outside of my tray. So what I'm gonna do is, when I'm completely done, uh, get a rag or a towel soaked with alcohol and clean it up. All right, so I got that going there. Let me go ahead and try to do the same thing going this direction. We'll just kind of crisscross it a little bit and play with this whole going in a different directions thing. Maybe the last color will be that first color that I did. So that way it'll get incorporated in there also. So it doesn't get too buried. This is looking kind of fun so far. I'm just scraping it off really, really good before I get to the next one. Rotate it again. Oh, jeez. Stuff is so stinking pretty.
get rid of the square shape of the start. Do a little one down here. Oh, and I just set the side. Okay, I'm kind of digging this, like a lot. Holy cow. to bring you guys in for a close up. You're not gonna believe this thing up close. Overhead view. And then I'm gonna zoom in. All right, now I'm just gonna start moving around from side to side. All right. Just pan around like I normally do. I'll make it easier. That's pretty stinking pretty. I love the brushiness. I hope some of that stays. I don't know if it will, if it might settle down. A lot of pigments will settle down and you lose a little bit of the texture. Maybe not the color. I love this area right in here. It almost looks feathery like. All right, I gotta put this guy up. Let it cure. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up. Later, y'all. All right, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time, put a video up. Later, y'all.